Hello, this is Bakhtavar Mahmood and you're watching The Now. In the first two parts of our overview of the Indo-China rivalry in the Indian Ocean, we discussed the recent visits by the Chinese Foreign Minister to Maldives and Sri Lanka and their general significance vis-à-vis -vis the regional politics. We discussed how China is increasing its footprint through various multilateral forums and keeping India under duress. Today, in the last part of our overview of the Indochina rivalry in the Indian Ocean, we will analyze how this rivalry is likely to play out in the future. China is gradually consolidating and developing ties with the countries that are China's base for the foreign policy to break up the anti-China network. In 2022, the Indian Pacific will prove a significant, if not more, in China's geopolitical contest with the United States and its ally, India. By stopping by in Maldives and Sri Lanka on his way back from Africa this year, Wong has spelled out Beijing's priorities fairly clearly. China's focus is on resting control in South Asia and Indian Ocean, which is a sensible strategy. Politically, China enjoys friendlier waters in South Asia and the Indian Ocean than it does in the Southeast Asia and the Pacific. In the South China Sea, China faces some opposition. By contrast, much of the South Asia and the Indian Ocean has been relatively more benign. In Sri Lanka, the dominant faction led by President Rajapaksa, which came back to power in 2019, has been cordial towards Beijing than its domestic political rivals. Whereas in Maldives, the pro-Chinese former President Abdullah Yamin, who was ousted from power in 2018 and then incarcerated, has been acquitted of his crimes and freed from prison last month and was seen rallying with harsh wording. India Out campaign, which has been protesting against India's military presence in the country. Thus, the entire scenario seems to nullify the Indo-Pacific strategy and China appears to outmaneuver India having an upper hand in the Indian Ocean. 